What's up, everybody? Today I'm going to do a Japanese micro brewed beer taste test. I've got four beers here from Yoho Brewery based out of Nagano, Japan. So I've got the beers lined up. They're looking mighty fine. I've got my dogs here to keep me company. But before I start, just want to give a quick shout out to Grinning Studios channel. They've got a lot of good videos about Japanese food, Japanese booze, and living and traveling in Japan. So if you're interested, check out the link that I'm pointing at like crazy. Anyway, enough with that intro bullshit. It's time for the beer tasting, baby. Let's check out the lineup. First beer on deck is Yona Yona Ale. Don't really know what the hell that means, but interesting cover nonetheless. Got some weed on the can. Nice fucking can right there. Apparently it won some kind of award too, whatever the hell that means. Anyway, next can, we got a cat. So apparently it's a Belgian white style beer, it's called Sui Yobi no Neko. I'm pretty sure that means the cat's Wednesday in English, which makes no fucking sense. Whatever, must be some kind of Eastern thing. Next we've got Tokyo Black, it's a porter and uh, actually I had this beer before, it's pretty good. The can's artwork has some kind of like sumo wrestler type guy who's just basically staring up into the moon. And here's the fourth and final beer. The cover looks like it's got some kind of demonic face on it. I guess the beer is called Auni. I don't really know if I pronounced that correctly, but anyway, it's an India Pale Ale. This is actually the first Japanese IPA I've ever seen, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. So now I'm going to pour out these bad boys and see how they look. That ale's got a deep red color. It's looking good. It's looking real good. Next on deck is the Cat's Wednesday. Personally, I'm pretty excited to try this one out because I really like Belgian white style beers. You might even say they get me aroused. Wow, nice fucking beer. Tokyo Black's on deck. I did do a Japanese black beer blind taste test before, and this beer actually won, so not too shabby. Last up is the IPA. Shit's got a red amber glow, and it's looking real good. So let the tasting begin. I'll start from the left and go right. First up's the ale. Hmm, pretty strong on the first taste. Got a strong aftertaste as well, kind of a bitter, strong ale. It's tasting pretty nice to me. Next up's the white. Here it goes. So, the immediate taste is slightly sweet and good. The aftertaste is a little bit watery and a little bit weak. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Blue Moon, so to me this doesn't really stack up, but hey, I didn't come to Japan for the white beer, baby. I came for the culture, the food, the women, and the dogs, to be exact, but that's another story entirely. Actually, I don't know if you know this, but Japan was kind of closed off to microbrewing before 1994. They changed some kind of law at that point, and only from then on have they been making microbrewed beers. So they haven't really had enough time to perfect the skill. I would say they're behind America in that respect. But they're catching up fast, baby, and compared to anywhere else I've been in Asia, they're definitely the best beer-wise. Anyway, next up, I'll try the Tokyo Black again. Here we go. Yeah, it's great, just like the first time I had it. The immediate taste you get is a smoky, sweet flavor. The aftertaste is a bit bitter. I think that's a characteristic of porters, but I'm not really sure. Nice fucking beer. Okay, last up, IPA time. Yeah, that one tastes great. It tastes exactly like I hoped it would taste. It just tastes like an IPA. It's like a run-of-the-mill IPA. I mean, it's not stronger than the average IPA, nor weaker. It's a pretty solid IPA, and you know, it's the only IPA I've seen in grocery stores in Japan, so... Not bad. Anyway, I tasted all the beers again a few times to be sure. Overall, I'd say they're all winners except for the Belgian Whites. That one just wasn't up to my standard, but otherwise, great job, Yoho Brewery. So thanks for watching. Why don't you leave a comment and let me know what you think.